How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of World Conquer 4. Uh, probably my, not my first actually. It's been many times since I left out World Conquer 4. Uh, so today I'm gonna test another uh, factions in 1917 for Canadian Modders mod. So last time I tested the uh, Soviet Russia, or we call the Russian Revolutions team. And you can see that the uh, main menu is still ugly at some point. Uh, we are working on it, not me, but Canadian Modern himself. So we're gonna go to the uh, Conquest. So basically there's no upgrade. Uh, it's only the 1917 itself. So I will try to play as Japan, you know? The thing is I have done so many with Ottomans, Germans, British, French, Italians, United Kingdom, you know, been, been so doing so much. So I've been neglecting my greatest ally ever, Japan, so I'm gonna try to play as Japan. Maybe a 10 minute gameplay to see how it goes. So Japan pretty much a dominance in the sea, so it will start off with a good sea unit. There's no general, okay. So that means that we can dominate this already. However, the thing is that we are fighting in a wrong direction. Uh, at this point is that we have to go to Europe to fight which is true however remember that uh, it is essential which which I don't really find it to be you know really important uh, I know Japan is part of the end uh, part of the Anton uh, however I feel like it's too much for the Germans and the Austrians uh, and the Ottoman as well uh, pretty much not really a type of nation that should be worry during the game So I decided that uh, we should test the other nation that's supposed to fight. So let's try Italy. Let's uh, check this one out Okay, so I did so with Russia and I skipped Japan because it's too easy uh, Sending so much troop into Europe with just Japan and China. They're gonna win automatically uh, I gotta play as Italy, so let's try Italy. Kingdom of Italy, level 3. Okay, so the thing is, playing as Italy, we're stuck between the biggest <laughs> so... I guess I'm gonna test Italy at this point. Uh, he mentioned Defended, so not that. But at least start with the micro. No, no, not so many units. Okay, the region is pretty small. I believe that. But with a few troops, with so many troops here in uh, uh, Africa. So pretty much Italy is kind of well prepared in Africa, which they should be well prepared in Europe. Uh, you know, fight. However, we can still take some part of this. You know, Tunisia. Let's see. Where's Tunisia? Tunisia. Yeah, Tunisia. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, pretty good. So, only thing that we can do is that we expand the Italian Empire. At this point. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much 1917 is the focus of the Russian Revolution itself. So if you turn in and turn on, turn in and turn on, you will see definitely it's going to be about the 1917 Russian Revolution. So, uh, let's choose the Fender. level hunter which does a lot of damage and pivotal as well. This one is this one so good. Okay we take Tunis which is pretty good by the way. Uh, I believe it's belong to the French but since it's neutral we can take it. So Italy start with uh, a decent unit actually but we do have the Germans in Africa so we need to rely on that. 
So yeah, we can try, we can test the German Empire later on on this one if you guys really want. But keep in mind that I might not be able to test full gameplays because uh, this mod has a some sort of so pretty much if you guys migrated that it will definitely if you guys play the game and if you guys exit the game definitely it's gonna be removed or restored by the mod itself so yeah pretty much like that So this mod is still not yet available to the public, uh, it's only me testing, uh, Canadian modder. He only just asked about uh, the but uh, I kind of forget. So I'm gonna try to test this one out. So you can see some of the textures and stuff. Some of these textures, let's say this texture can be founded on Glory of General, this one can be founded uh, from the internet. This one can be mixed from the, uh, how do you call that one, they call it the, uh, yeah, the Baidu community, uh, the, 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 not, not, not really community, some call it community, so, so anyway, let's call it the Baidu community, so the Chinese community, so they do mods, there's so many mods in Chinese, uh, even, you know, they did so many good mods, I like, I like most of their mods, especially the Chinese mods, which they, uh, elaborate a full campaigns on mission and gameplay which is pretty good by the way and uh, yeah I, I really love it if you check my old video there's so many video I plays on the old game I love it regardless of how bad the border war is I still love the game yeah and I take those campaigns mission even though it's not that good even though it's you know or accurate border I kind of find it pretty good by the way comparing to decent uh, comparing to the new game from Isaac. Uh if you guys have been catching up with me with the European War 6 1914 definitely you will see a lot of errors that's been made from Easy Tech and should be take as a full trust me pretty much not really uh, a fan of what Easy Tech has been doing even though it's fun even though it's good be considered as a World War One game, which they didn't call it World War One, they call it the 1914. So European War 1914, uh, pretty much they didn't fully functional in the terms of World War One, but they kind of fully functional in the words European War Six, which according to their franchise, they call it the 1914 itself. So, but it still worked for them. So pretty much working. Okay. So this is my opinion. Italy started off in a very significant time, which they changed side. They were supposed to fight the French, but later on they're fighting against the, uh, uh, they call it the central power, okay, between uh, the three axes of uh, Ottoman Empire, Austria-Hungary, and German Empire. The thing is, is that Italy started off with a, uh, pretty much a decent unit, not really that good. However, there's so many troops here in Africa which should be transferred into Europe to help fight against uh, German Empire, sorry, the Central Power, but I do believe that there are so many troops here to defend against the outrage of attack from uh, the British and also from the French as well. But there should be around here somewhere to help uh, pushing to Vienna. And Germany is pretty much OP, I do believe. You can see the fort, you can see the, the, the troops, you can also see the gas attack right here, which I, th I think is a gas attack, which you haven't tested. Uh, if you guys check it out, uh, uh, the Soviet Russia or the Lenin team pretty much they are too OP I kind of took out Russia just like 10 minutes or 15 minutes pretty easy uh, Japan sitting in a really good coast not doing anything uh, China is chilling uh, everything here is pretty much same same thing 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 so America is even out of the game so only Canada Newfoundland the German Empire Austria-Hungary Russian Empire Romania is still uh, obsolete 
uh, Ormond Empire is on, but still struggling, I believe, because they cannot deal anything much, even though they have quite decent troops, they still have failure landing troops to the Balkans as well, which I do believe is pretty much is a funny thing to me. So that's it for today episode, pretty small thing, just want to testing out for Canadian modders, so if you guys are a fan of Canadian modders mod, check him out, link with Jen Domino, subscribe to our fellows community, pretty much this is a small community, but you guys, if you guys have each other, sooner or later it's going to be a really big community, and we all deserve to be praised in this community, helping out each other, especially the EFC community, the Baidu community, and also the Russian forum, the WK forum, which people share a lot of stuff in common, you know, by doing moddings, uh, so many great modders like uh, the Congre, Canadian modders, Will War Mods, uh, Valentine, uh, PJ Blazkowicz, you know, uh, Mora Andre, Erebus. Erebus one of the, uh, probably the creative guy I've ever seen. You know, he kind of released all all of the level of the uh, uh, generals in World Conquer 4, which to the maximum around 100 generals, 200 generals. Yeah, pretty much that's a good thing, by the way. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this uh, video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.